Does this story sound familiar? You've decided to learn to code. Filled with excitement, you sign up for a Udemy course and register at Free Code Camp. You study coding late into the night and wake up early the next morning to go to work. But then you start to get confused by some of the concepts and there isn't anyone to ask for help. After a couple of months, all the late nights and lack of sleep are starting to wear you out. You realize you're nowhere near your goal of landing a new job in six months. The thought is incredibly discouraging. You decide to take a break, feeling burned out and frankly exhausted. That break extends for months. Eventually, you shove the thought of learning to code and having a job you love into the back of your mind. Maybe next year. If you're trying to teach yourself how to code, this story may sound a little too familiar. Learning to code, or any skill, on your own is way different from being in a classroom with a teacher. There aren't mandatory classes, tests, grades, or the fear of failing to keep you motivated. When you're learning to code by yourself, you have to generate your own motivation, which is a huge challenge. So how can you make sure that you keep learning and not give up? I've boiled it down to four big tips you can use to stay motivated when learning to code. Ready? Let's get into it. Tip number one, have an end goal in mind. This might seem obvious, but it's essential to keep your goal in mind when you're starting out. What's the most important reason that you're coding? It could be to find a full-time job as a web developer so you can support your family financially, or to have a flexible career where you can live anywhere, or to work for yourself without having a boss. Once you know what you want, you can break that goal down into smaller, more manageable goals that you can hit, like pit stops on a road trip. And if you need help figuring out what those steps might be, check out my video on the beginner's roadmap to web dev. Keep those smaller steps in mind, but write your big goal down somewhere that you can see it often. Whenever you're bogged down in the thick of things, it'll remind you of why you're working so hard. Tip number two, build up with consistent, sustainable progress. One really big pitfall in getting good at anything is having unrealistic expectations. And one I see a lot is setting unrealistic timelines. Personally, I think it may take you more like one to two years to get good enough at coding to apply and land jobs. Of course, a lot depends on your own circumstances. If you're working part or full time or you have children, you will have less time than someone who doesn't have those responsibilities. Ultimately, try to gauge your progress and don't set yourself up for failure by having unrealistic expectations. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Speaking of, when you're starting out, you might want to rush into things and spend hours each day dedicated to studying and coding. However, you may well end up burning out and giving up. You'll be more likely to continue if you figure out how much time you can sustainably spend each day or each week studying coding. Then stick to that habit. Even if it's only 30 minutes per day, that adds up to three and a half hours a week. In one month, that would be about 14 hours. And in one year, almost 200 hours. In two years, 400 hours. In three Sorry, I got too excited. Slow and steady, as they say, can win the race. Tip number three is to remember that you don't have to go it alone. And in fact, I highly recommend that you find peers in coding. There are great online communities where you can both give and receive help. I personally have found Instagram to be a great place to see what programmers of every skill level are working on. Check out or take part in the hashtag 100 days of code challenge that's really popular there. You can also check out other communities like Free Code Camp and Dev.2. There are also online virtual conferences where you can meet other coders in the same position as you. You'll be able to talk about common struggles and share strategies for how you're overcoming them. Also, don't forget you can meet in real life. Check out your local programming groups to see if they hold meetups. Many tech companies looking to hire web developers often attend or even co-host these meetups. And if you get to talking with some of those company reps, you may be able to eventually land a job through them. All in all, it doesn't hurt to get involved with communities, and it can only help you. However, while it's great to get support and assistance, these communities only work if there are people who are willing to donate their time and energy helping others. So be sure to contribute positively to the culture. When you help others, you're doing your part to help these places continue to work and help other people. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, don't compare yourself to other coders. Now, obviously, it's impossible to not see what other people are doing or accomplishing, but don't feel like you have to keep up with everybody else. Everyone has a different situation and progresses at different speeds. Some people will have more time than you or maybe faster at learning certain things than you are. Others will have less time or learn more slowly than you. No one is better than another person. Ultimately, other people's progress doesn't have any direct effect on yourself. 
Learning to code is a really difficult thing to do. And if you're somewhere on that path, I commend you. Even if you feel like you're completely lost, just know that it'll come with time if you persist. Hopefully these tips are helpful. Any of them strike a chord in your particular situation? Feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on coding.